Okay, cool. So let's try again. Introduce okay. yourself and what do you do for a living? Okay, my name is uh, Paulo Vasquez. I'm a 3D artist, but I try not to be so 3D lately. <laughs> to do other, to, to remove some this from the from the thing. And I am a blender head. I use blender every day for training, for actual making art when we can, for fixing open mood, for all kind of stuff. Cool. What is your main software for modeling, animation, rendering and video editing? Name only one. Name only one. Ah, what a stuff. <laughs> stuff. Uh, Blinda. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's cool. Yeah, Blinda for all okay. stuff. Okay, cool. So, what does it mean? Um, do you use more than one solution for the previous tasks? Name two additional ones. Um, <laughs> blender stable and Blender unstable. <laughs> <laughs> Those are my solutions. Um, and, and for photo editing and the rest of stuff, I use uh, the GIMP, sometimes Krita, my paint for concept uh, and stuff, I still didn't decide in one, but it's, a, it's usually a mix of software. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> what do you consider the strongest areas on the main software you use? without falling in the canal. Yeah. Well, I, even if you fall in the Point canal, it's going to be so fun. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so really. the strongest the strongest areas of the main software you use. The strongest? Um, the, does it count as an, as an area that the support you have? It counts as an area. I mean, you can do modeling and effects and everything, but the strongest is that it's everything in one, one software that you don't have to really get like, export, import, everything inside one software and the support you get okay you can get it for the bug and get it resolved in no time it's very nice <laughs> an area that could be improved in blender i think is the um, the support especially like getting in, in touch with people letting them know that there is actually professionals using it and offering actual training and consulting you know like uh, hey we use blender we can help you migrating your platform to ours and uh, i think not a lot of people know that that is possible so i think that would be uh, a good area to improve i'm not technically because you can do pretty much everything i guess <laughs> and you know i haven't found uh, like a, a tool i need or whatever and if you need it you can just ask me and the developers are awesome but blender itself and the foundation needs more like, to show that there is actual support and i think the blender network is trying to cover a big part of that if not all of it <laughs> <laughs> okay good <laughs> <laughs> what i consider the competition is better um, marketing the marketing is definitely better in other in other softwares i mean they they might be good in some areas they might lack in some areas but they definitely know how to sell it and hide it even so i think they're they are better in that they are better in reaching to institutions like universities to get the Three. people while they are young you know no, not so evil but uh, yeah, maybe <laughs> they're good in making people use their software right from the start so you know like the uh, first thing they, they, they learn when they go to university so I think that's the best they have they okay. know how to sell um I'm concerned that that they're not actually giving they're not actually caring a lot about people but more about selling stuff they're not the the, the community is actually making their software like uh, the the companies that make training and uh, all that kind of things like uh, education those are the guys that are actually pushing the software because the company itself is not doing much I think my main concern would be that if they ever get if they ever lose people it's not because of their technical part or their support part like, or like uh, they should get in touch with people more okay cool. answer all the 
well, I said, nothing is completely free. Blender is not cheap to maintain at, at all. It has developers, it has a, a, like full-time developers, part-time developers. The e-shop has to be, there are accountants, there's Ton, of course, so it's, it's not very cheap to maintain. There are donations that help to that. There's the e-shop that's selling DVDs and all the training too, but it, everything costs, of course, so it's not very, it's not free, so. Wait, it wouldn't make sense. No, you can put it anywhere. That's a really <laughs> good thing. And if it doesn't fit, you can just change the code or the interface or whatever to make it work. That's a cool thing. Yeah. All of them, all of the areas they benefit, of course. You can, well, I said before, it fits on so many areas that you can really use it and extend it in, in pretty much every area. Yeah, I think it does. They all get, they all benefit, but I think small studios benefit a lot from it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> I think in every area, but especially on like small studios. Uh, that are making the effects, that are making advertisements and everything and mid studios too and hopefully big studios. Always have to make big studios using them.